Thanks for those, Martin. And the first one up for me is the mild May novice chase over three miles in a furlong. Here at Aintree, as we know, the rain's still coming down. So number one is Acasta Malbis for Darren Thompson. Two is Dawn Range for David Robertson. Three, Tamoyan Block for Craig Allen. Four, Wouldn't It Be Good for Liam Van Rensburg. Five, Dawn of Lust for Joshua Sutherland. Six, Ozark Slide for Vinnie Gerard. And seven is Selection, also for Craig Allen. So just seven of these novices over three miles and a furlong. They're away. Racing. Straight into the first, and then jumps out well moving and led by Acaster Malbis, although taking a keen hold. It's got a two or three length advantage from Dawn of Lust and wouldn't it be good? And followed through by Ozark Slide selections. Tamoyan Block and Dawn Ranger as they get to the second. And jump that well, a little bit slow over it was Ozark Slide, and slides back towards the rear. As they go through the first couple of furlongs, this store Acaster Malbis is going to take us. That's the winning post. Screens. Big crowd here. We go over that with a couple of mistakes. I think Dawn Ranger and Selections didn't get over that one particularly well. We go past the winning post. We go for another complete circuit. Just over two and a half miles. So it's Acast and Malvis. Leads from Dawn of Lust. Wouldn't it be good? Tamoyan Block and Ozark Slide. Just at the rear Dawn Ranger and Selections. Darren Thompson's big cast of male business happily bowling along in front. So I approach the next, which will be the fourth. The 17 they have to take here. We'll be finally coming up, I think. Anyway, it's Acast and Malvis leads us into the fourth. From Dawn of Lassa, further five minutes behind. Leaders are over it. Mistake this time by Tamoyan Block. The entry fence is a little bit trickier than last week at Cheltenham, but it's Acaster Malvis leads us over the fifth. Still leads by about four or five, and wouldn't it be good to move to second now with Dawn Buster is inside? In the length or so back to Ozark's right and Tamoyan Block, and we'll get over the six well. Swing left handed again. Acaster Malvis that leads us. Wouldn't it be good in second? Dawn of Lights third. Ozark Slides moved up into fourth. Up to Moyne Block and Dawn Ranger. We'll take the seventh well. And still this Acaster Malvis. This leads down to probably just four now. So wouldn't it be good in second? Dawn of Lust, Ozark Slide, Dawn Ranger. I think Craig Allen is horses to Moyne Block and selections. Just at the rear. We get to the eighth. Nearly halfway through the fences. Let's say Custom Malbis just by a length and a half now, so wouldn't it be good? Although taking a keen hold again, the old man Rensburg holds Blue Silk's yellow cap. Inside of that is Dawn of Lust, Joshua Sutherland, Black Silk's hoop, Red Hoops, they all go over the base. So it's a Custom Malbis, and wouldn't it be good? Dawn Range of Dawn of Lust knows up, slide, and all much closer order now, which is a length and a half back to the Craig Allen horses to Moyne Block and selections. Come on the ground step again. We take the tenth. Let's do this eight cast of Malvis. Let's let us we get it. Dawn Blast that's just closed into second. And one is Dawn Ranger. Take another keen hold is wouldn't it be good? Against the fences Ozark slide. Follow through by selections to Moyne Block. So we go out for another circuit. Over a mile to travel, it's a Castor Malbis still. We're joined now by Dawn of Lust. Into third is Dawn Ranger. Wouldn't it be good? Don't slide up against the fence. Shotgun a Castor Malbis, that's a quick look around. So we race down to the next, so it's a Castor Malbis. Dawn of Lust. Wouldn't it be good? Ozark slide. It's probably only six lengths between first and last. So 
anything can win it from here as I get to the 11th. They'll jump that one well. So Dawn of Lust jumps himself now just to a nose in front of a cast of Malbis. He's being pushed along by his jockey to try and maintain the lead. But it's Dawn of Lust just by half a length coming into the 12th. Jumps it well, gets away from it better than anyone. And it's Dawn of Lust by a length. A cast of Malbis being pushed along in second up into the row. Now Dawn Ranger asks for a little bit more as well as wouldn't it be good as they go to the 13th. A poor jump there by A cast of Malbis. He shuffled back and allowed Dawn of Lust a two length advantage as they swing left handed now. So they're going to line up for the judge as they come off this top bend. So it's Dawn of Lust from A cast of Malbis. Wouldn't it be good that hasn't asked for anything yet to mind got being pushed along. Dawn Rangers they go to the 14th for losing sight of a couple now, but it's Dawn of Lust just by half from A Custom Malbis on the outside trying to push through his Tamoin block. But he's run straight into the back of Dawn of Lust. So Dawn of Lust, A Custom Malbis moving well on the outside now is Dawn Ranger. The one that's got a bit of room now is Tamoin block, and it's Tamoin block that throws down the challenge as we come inside the three and they approach the 15th. He went through the top of it and allowed A Custom Malbis and Dawn of Lust to get back in front. So it's A Custom Malbis again from Dawn of Lust on his inside running on Dawn Ranger. Tamoin block trying to get back into it. Wouldn't it be good an Ozark slide? We've lost sight of selections. We're inside the final quarter mile. They go over the 16th of Penultimate. Better jump by Dawn of Lust. A custom Malvis pecked on landing on the outside is Dawn Ranger. But it's this Dawn of Lust they've got to catch inside the furlong and a half now. It's Dawn of Lust from A custom Malvis trying again. Trying to make a move now. Is wouldn't it be good? But as he left it too late, we're inside the final furlong. It's Dawn of Lust from A custom Malvis over the last. It's Dawn of Lust. My good couple of lengths now. Jockey has a quick look round. It's an easy win here for Dawn of Lust from running on well, wouldn't it be good? Third was our long time lead, A Caster Malvis. Fourth was Dawn Ranger. A win there for Josh Sutherland to take the mild main novice chase here. Much better jump towards the end. Aston Malbis threw his race away. So Dawn of Lust for Josh Sutherland takes it from Wouldn't It Be Good for Leon Van Rensburg in second. Third was Acasta Malbis for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Dawn Ranger for David Robertson. Fifth was Tamoyne Block for Craig Allen.